This is May, swimming in her backyard pond. Pay close attention to that red harness and leash. The couple who raised her says that leash is one of the many rules they agreed to when they started caring for the raccoon as a tiny baby. That was mandatory, which we have, and every time we've she never goes outside without it. She never it. goes outside without it. Kelly and Chris Greer took in May as a newborn. She was at a park with her eyes still shut. They think her mom was hit by a car. According to the lawsuit the Greers filed, no rehab facility would take the animal. But Wolftown on Vashon Island agreed to let the Greers care for May under their wildlife permit. Seven years later, May plays with the cats, likes to sit on a custom hammock, and has a few quirks. You have to fill the bathtub so that she can play with water and her toys and so on. The cat won't jump in the bathtub, right? May, May needs that. The Greers even take May camping, which is why everything changed. A fish and wildlife officer saw them, and a week later, another officer showed up and took May away. Here's why. It's against state law to have a wild animal without a valid permit. And the issue for the Greers, the permit they were working under to take care of May is no longer valid because Wolftown closed several years ago. I feel like, like, like I failed her. You know, I, I have provided care her entire life. She's imprinted on us. She's part of our family and her pack is at home. WDFW found a rehab center to take May as an education animal, but the couple's attorney argues the Greers have a legal right to keep May. They say she's no longer wild, and after seven years, they own her. Since her eyes were open, we have been her mom and dad. She's really part of our family. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.